I don't even remember which was, which was the last one. Probably something in 2019 end or 2020 beginning was the last launch event. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And today's event just happened accidentally uh, because a lot of things changed. I was here in town on a personal work and our India team said that if you are here, we are launching the biggest product of the year, the superhero, the super note, and you have to join it. So it just so happened accidentally for me, a lot of companies, including us. Um, I remember when COVID started, on one hand, a lot of demand started coming in because everybody wanted to buy connected devices, smartphones, smart TVs, laptops, and the demand just skyrocketed. But on the other hand, there was a huge shortage of key components, especially chipsets. And it was a tough thing for all the companies, especially us, how to balance this thing, demand supply. But I think we did a fairly good job. But the good thing is now, over the last few quarters, supply is consistently improving, chipset supply, all key components. And now we are seeing a new surge of demand, a new kind of products that people are demanding, really high quality products in this era. And I'm happy as part of the global team, I see our global team making a lot of innovations, spending a lot of time in R&D resources, a lot of time in R&D resources to build really world-class products. I would like to showcase some of the products. Of course, this is a product that many of you guys have heard, a Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Um, and in my opinion, this is probably one of the best, if not the best camera phone that you can buy across the world. I've used this, I've experienced this, and this is a beast of a phone which has been co-engineered by Leica. There's another phone that we built which was Xiaomi Mix Fold 2, again co-engineered by Leica. And this is not only a great camera phone, but probably a very sleek, very classy, foldable phone. You just have to hold it once in your hand to experience what the future of foldable technology will look like. And not only in phones, but in many more areas, ecosystem products, robotics, we have been making a lot of improvements. For example, the CyberDoc that many of you guys would have also experienced here in the country. And uh, we launched this, uh, a great device. And then the company said, why do we need to stop here? Let's go even one step further. And that's when we launched this humanoid robot, Cyber One. <laughs> oh, uh, and a lot of cool, innovative products. Uh, I'm very excited about next year, 2024, uh, when EVs will come out. And hopefully, we should be able to launch it in many parts of the world. And I'm really hopeful it will do exceedingly well. And probably because of all of this innovation, these really great products that we are building, we have been rated as one of the most innovative companies. So this is the BCG ranking. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and we have been rated as one of the 50 most innovative companies in the world. Uh, even on a core business, which is smartphones, doing exceedingly well, we are now the world's third largest Thank you. We are the world's consistently world's third largest smartphone brand in many markets, including Europe, Middle East, Latin America, doing exceedingly well. In many of these countries, we are either num the number one or the number two brand over there. Uh, so the global business going very strong. For me personally, uh, I don't think I got a chance to give you guys uh, uh, an update uh, for whatever change happened in the company in my personal life. Uh, so about running the company, India business, for about five, six years, in 2020, 19 or 2020 beginning, 2019, 2019 and 2020 beginning, our global board suggested that I should probably take up larger global responsibilities and help other markets succeed. Markets like US, markets like, so we are not still not present in US, but markets like Europe, Latin America, Middle East, etc. But unfortunately, around the same time, COVID happened, and there were a lot of travel restrictions. So we couldn't move, or we couldn't make that move happen. And in 2021, beginning 2021 mid, as soon as travel restrictions were removed, uh, me and my family moved abroad with this different role. Uh, this is a picture of our, many of our leadership team members. Uh, they came to my home to say goodbye in the middle of COVID. As you can see, everybody was wearing double masks. It was a very emotional moment for me. 
And I feel very sad that at that point of time, I really did not get a chance to say goodbye to all of you guys. Because I believe if <coughs> Xiaomi India was successful, it was not only because of me, and not only because of Xiaomi India team, but was because of all of you guys. Of course, our incredible fans. <laughs> Thank you. Our business partners, our media colleagues, everybody, like you are the guys who made Xiaomi in India what it was. And I feel really sad that because of COVID and circumstances, we couldn't, I couldn't get a chance to say goodbye to all of you guys. So when, I, when the India team said that they are having this launch, I thought it was a great time for me to come back and basically say hi to all of you guys today as part of this launch. Uh, and of course, miss all of you guys a lot. Uh, we just being part of this energy, this group, uh, this means a lot, right? Uh, and since I moved one and a half, two years ago, I'm happy to say that our India leadership team has been working very independently. Uh, these are some of the leaders, not all the leaders in Xiaomi India team. Of course, you know Murli, who is the president of Xiaomi India. You know Anuj, uh, he's here, I can't see him right now. But uh, Tom Cruise of Xiaomi India. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you have Sneha, who used to head our Redmi business, Nia, in the middle, and now she leads at GTM. You have Vikram, who heads our online business. He's sitting over here. You have Amitabh, who is one of the senior team members in offline team, and you also have Malli, who heads our offline sales. So a lot of Indian leadership uh, team members who have been stepping up and have been running this business independently. And today's launch is not about me or not about a Xiaomi global business. So this is a Xiaomi India launch, and I will be handing over to Xiaomi India team uh, for doing this. But before I do this, I just want to say one thing, a big change that I observed when I landed here yesterday. When I went one and a half, two years ago, the network was still 4G, right? And yesterday when I landed at the airport, all of a sudden I started getting 5G network. And that was a big thing. I was trying to download a few content on OTT, and it just happened in a few seconds, just like that. And this reminded me of 2014 December, when we launched the first Redmi Note 4G. That was a time when India was moving from 3G to 4G, and that just brought a huge revolution. And I now think the, with 5G coming in, it will even go further. The adoption of internet, adoption of mobile internet, and every single thing that you can do with it. So hats off to the entire Geo team, to Sunil Dutt sir and his team. Sorry, I can't see you right now. But hats off to all of you guys. Hi. And you have built a great network. And I really want to congratulate everyone sitting here, the government of India, our honorable prime minister, and everyone for bringing through this revolution. 5G just feels so much better. Thank you. It's just terrific. Like 5G just feels so much better, so much smoother as compared to 4G. And I really think this is the right time uh, and the right move for taking India forward. So with this note, uh, let me hand over the stage to the Xiaomi India team, uh, starting with Murli, the president of Xiaomi India. Wow. Wasn't that a super surprise to get started for the first launch of this year? Thank you, Manu. We will always love you. Thank you for taking the time. Actually, thank you for being here, firstly, um, and sharing all the perspective on the Xiaomi Global Business Hub. So lovely to have you here, truly. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Hello, salam, namaste, and manakam to all our friends, our partners, media colleagues, our lovely fans, <laughs> distinguished guests, and everyone else out here. A super warm welcome to the super launch of the Super Note in Super Cold Delhi. <laughs> now, if you think that one superlative too many, by first launch of the year, hai, kuch to banta hai. <laughs> All right. Let me get started with a quick recap of 2022 for Xiaomi India. And as they say, it's been an interesting year. We've had our ups, we've had our downs. It's been a little bit of a roller coaster, but end of the day, thanks to all the love and affection that we get from folks in this room and elsewhere, the support of our partners, 
and the honesty, sincerity, dedication, and hard work of employees in Team Xiaomi, we've emerged stronger. And today, thank you. And we'll confidently continue marching headlong into a super future for all of us together. Let's see how the year went by. prior years that we've been in India, we've continued to be motivated by one overarching purpose, that of democratizing technology and making quality innovation accessible to millions of users. And in this pursuit, in this endeavor, in this process, we've been fortunate, we've been privileged. We've been privileged to be recognized with numerous awards. And all of these accolades uh, truly mean a lot to us. And let me call out a few. Uh, awards that we have won during the course of this year. The Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G was awarded the best camera phone in the mid-range. The Xiaomi... Thank you. The Xiaomi 12 Pro 5G as the best display smartphone. The Xiaomi Pad 5 as the tablet of the year. And we're not done yet. The Xiaomi OLED Vision Television as the gadget of the year. <laughs> Truly means a lot to us. It's your love and affection that gets us all of these awards. Thank you once again. Through our eight-year journey in India, we've done a whole bunch of things. But amongst the various things that we have done, a one thing that we are really proud of, extremely proud of, is the fact that we've played a small but meaningful role in fostering and accelerating the 4G revolution and in some ways catalyzing digital India, starting all the way back with that Redmi Note 4G which broke the price barrier got 4G below 10,000. We've come a long way since then. And in these part, past eight years, we've shipped 200 million smartphones, 20 crore, 20 crore smartphones. <laughs> and that's, that's a large number. So whenever, whenever there is a small street vendor or a small merchant accepting payments on UPI, I think Xiaomi has a role to play. Whenever there's a small school child sitting somewhere in small town India attending online classes through their phone, perhaps Xiaomi has some role to play. Whenever somebody is streaming content on an OTT channel or live streaming sports, perhaps Xiaomi has a role to play, and so on. We've had a massive role to play in the way the country has digitally transformed itself, and we are truly humbled with the love and affection that we have got, which has made us the most loved and trusted smartphone brand in this country. But if the 4G revolution was the first chapter of the Xiaomi story in India, today, we're just about starting to write the first line of the second chapter of the Xiaomi story in India, because today, 
we are talking about the advent of 5G. Now, all of us know that 5G networks are in the process of getting rolled out and should cover most of the country by the end of 2023. And Xiaomi takes great pride in being at the forefront of launching more than 20 device, devices which provide 5G support to all of our users. And to showcase the power and capability of the 5G networks, today we are doing something special. This launch is the first such event of its kind which is live streamed from this venue on a 5G network. So all the folks out there watching the live stream on YouTube and other social media channels, you're doing it courtesy of 5G network from which we are live streaming this, not just across India, but across the entire world. And big thanks to our partners, Reliance Geo, who have collaborated with us, figured out all the technicalities to make this massive milestone possible. Huge gratitude for the partnership that Reliance Geo brought to the table. Thank you very much. And let's hear what Shalab, the Chief Marketing Officer Mobility of Geo, has to say about this. Geo True 5G is one of the most advanced 5G services in the world. It is based on a standalone architecture. This enables powerful functionalities like low latency, massive machine to machine IoT, network slicing, and cloud computing. The 700 megahertz band that we have allows for a fantastic window coverage. Carrier aggregation, which is enabled by Geo True 5G, is akin to an amazing data highway. It is a significant step forward in Geo's vision to ensure that every Indian has access to transformative services and platforms to lead a full digital life. We are proud of the partnership that we have with Xiaomi because of the shared values we have to achieve this vision. The Xiaomi Note 12 series phones work best on Geo True 5G because of the unparalleled customer experience they provide. We wish immense success to Xiaomi for the successful launch of the Note 12 series phones. Thank you so much, uh, Shalab and uh, Team Reliance Geo. We wish you the very best too. Let's together propel India to the next league in terms of digital transformation. Now, while our commitment to users has often been spoken about, this would not have been possible without our dedication to making an India. Starting way back in 2015 with small and humble means, we have come a long way today. Today, 100% of the smartphones and 100% of the smart televisions that we sell in India are proudly made in India. And we, <laughs> But that's not all. It's not just about making those devices in India. We've also focused on localizing the component supply chain ecosystem. Today, a whole host of components have already starting to get procured locally. The PCBAs, the batteries, the chargers, the cables, the camera modules, the front and back cover. And we're working on further broadening and deepening this component ecosystem. And we wish to substantially increase the domestic value addition by procuring the display module, the vibrator module, fingerprint sensor, flexible printed circuit, and various other television and ecosystem products such as audio products, we are working towards manufacturing and sourcing them locally from partners who have factories in India. And that is our commitment for 100% making in India. Thank you, thank you. But for us at Xiaomi India, it's never just been about the business. Our desire to create social impact is equally, if not more important than business. And towards this, it has been our privilege to partner with Yuvraj Singh, the ace cricketer. With the ace cricketer Yuvraj Singh and his UVCAN Foundation in sponsoring the education of 200 children.
But these are no ordinary children. These are warriors. These warriors are battling perhaps the biggest challenge of their life, one of cancer. And we believe it is our privilege to have the opportunity to support the education of these 200 children. And we wish these children and the UV Can Foundation the very best in this endeavor. And this is just one example. You will hear a lot more about what we want to do to create social impact as the year keeps progressing. But today, we are here to talk about something special. Aren't we here for a super reason? We're here to talk about the Redmi Note. And this Redmi Note has uh, gone on to, to kind of create like its own mark in, in, in the smartphone industry. Uh, in many ways, the Redmi Note has become the default choice for customers, for smart, discerning customers, I must say, who pretty much want an all-round device that checks off all the boxes. And this Redmi Note has built out an amazing legacy. It's not even easy to count the number of zeros on this. 300 million 30 crore Redmi Note devices shipped globally. And 73 million 7.3 crore Redmi Notes shipped here in India. Oh. Thank you so much. We are blessed to have this love and support from all of our Xiaomi fans across the country. But before we get start, starting to talk about the actual super notes that we have to launch today, I thought I'd take this opportunity in just laying out how our portfolio is going to get planned for this year. But before that, a few larger macroeconomics meta factors. Over the past few years, smart consumers are demanding a lot more from their smartphone. They want more capability from the smartphone because smartphone has become an extension of our lives. We use the smartphone for so many different things. And hence, people are demanding a lot more power from the smartphone. At the same time, technology is also evolving rapidly. Processing, display, battery, camera, everything is becoming a lot more capable and powerful. And on top of this, you have the larger macroeconomic factors. Supply chain challenges, component price increases, USD INR exchange rate with the rupee depreciating, and all of this, of course, places some pressure on pricing. And what has effectively happened is, while the overall market price points have increased, the average price point has increased, even within price bands, you're seeing an increase in the ASP. So the way we are laying out our portfolio is, the Redmi A series, which used to be the entry level, bumps up a little bit in terms of prices. And as the entry level, we have the Redmi AX series. For example, the Redmi A1 and A1 Plus that we launched recently. So that becomes the entry level. And below 10,000, you have the Redmi AX series and the Redmi A series, followed by the Redmi Number and Prime series in the 10 to 15,000 price band. So while the, these are the entry level choice, the Redmi Number and Prime series are the ideal option for someone who wants a more comprehensive phone still within an affordable price point. And then, closer to 15 to 20,000, you have the classic note for someone who wants that complete all-round experience. And then going up between 20 to 30,000, you have the Redmi Note Pro series, which brings flagship-like capabilities, in some cases flagship capabilities, in a package that is still easy on your wallet. And finally, at the top end, you have our flagship range, which is the Xiaomi premium flagship phones and the Redmi K series. So this year, we are promising to have a much more cleaner and neater portfolio. And for a lot of our Xiaomi fans and our friends in the media who have given us feedback saying your portfolio is just way too complicated, you will notice that the Redmi Note S series and the T series have been dropped in order to streamline and clean up the portfolio. Thank you so much for that feedback. All right, so I know I'm keeping you from hearing more about the really exciting things that we have to speak about today. So without any further ado, to talk about the Redmi Note 12 5G series, let me call on stage.
Let me call on stage the super cool chief marketing officer of Xiaomi India, Anuj Sharma. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Ali. All right, mic check. All right. Thank you, thank you. All right. <laughs> Hello, Xiaomi fans. Uh, uh, also extending this, a very warm welcome to all our partners who are there, and of course, our friends from the media. Now, for me, especially, this has also been a very long time. I think the last time I was with you guys was the launch of that amazing Note 8 Pro. So it's been a long time for me as well. Uh, so I think been really, really excited to do this, and we've obviously waited a long time. So I'm going to get straight into this. The first point I want to address is what Murli mentioned. Right? So Murli gave some big numbers, 300 million Redmi Notes uh, across the world, and 7.3 crore Redmi Notes just in India. The question, of course, is why do we all love the Redmi Note this much? And the answer is actually quite simple. It follows our core philosophy. Redmi Note follows innovation for everyone, which Xiaomi has been known for. If I have to break it down even further, for the Redmi Note, it is all about tech leadership. Every single Redmi Note has brought in something new, something which was only with flagships. I think we're going to do that again today. And of course, a Note is for everyone. So between all of that, uh, you know, we've, we've time and again revolutionized what the mid-segment could expect. And this has not been just once. Manu spoke about the fact that over the years, the first ever launch that we did was back in 2014. And that was beginning a revolution in terms of network. 4G was just getting started. We launched the first note. It changed that altogether. Till 2016, we were supposed to believe that a mid-range phone cannot be powerful. Since the Note 3, it's never been the same again. Back in 2019, and I was fortunate enough to be here when we changed the camera game for, I think, for the entire mid-segment from that time. Do you guys remember that? The Note 7 Pro? We brought in a Sony IMX586 for the first time. But then, then COVID came in. So while the world paused, we did not. We continued, and with the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max, we also changed the multimedia game. We brought in Super AMOLED displays across the board. So, so what's next? And today, for 2023, we're taking the next giant leap. Let's take a look. Introducing the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. All right, I'm going to move on. I'm going to talk about three things. Now, there is so much to talk about this device, but we don't have that time. So I'm going to talk about three key things. And the biggest change, the biggest bump that we are doing today is the camera. And from a camera perspective, how far can we go? We've done this time and again. We were the first to bring in 48 megapixel in India. We were the first to bring in 64 megapixel in the world. We were the first to do 108 as well as Xiaomi Global. How far can we push it today in this day in India? Well, we are going with the highest resolution sensor we've ever seen, a 200 megapixel.
And while we were doing this, the question on everyone's mind, our team was asking, do we really need to push it that far ahead? Do we need to leave the competition so far behind? And why do we really, really need to put a 200 megapixel camera on the Redmi Note Pro Plus? And the answer actually is that we want to revolutionize, we want to continue to push photography to the next level. So before I get into that aspect, there's a bit of what really makes a great photograph. And it's actually quite simple. If I could split this into, say, four parts. Now, every good camera has four key parts if I have to simplify this. And let me show you this. So this is a mirrorless camera in my hand, right? Now, one, of course, you've got this amazing lens in front of it. So that's the lens system. But it needs stability. None of our hands are stable enough to take a great picture without that shake. So that's where the OIS comes in. Now again, it's a big camera, it can easily fit in a large sensor, and then the computational photography part comes in. Because all of this information was analog, it gets converted into a digital photograph that you can share over social media to all of your friends. Now, this is a big camera, I can't fit this in my pocket, what I can fit is of course the Note 12 Pro Plus. So to push the photography aspect to the next level, we're also doing the India debut of the HPX sensor. You, it's the first phone you see this in. How much of a difference does this make? It's all about how much light and how much information it can gather. Back in 2019, long, long time ago, 12 megapixel used to be the norm. Everyone used to have 12 megapixels, so did we. We did have really good phones at that point too. And then we changed it with a 48 MP. It gathered two and a half times more light. But today, with the HPX, with a 200 megapixel sensor, we are going six and a half times. So much more information, so much more details. And in fact, what you get is details, amazing dynamic range, and colors. But this is all theory. Let me show you what it can really do. Let's take a look at this image. Now this is a brilliant image because it's also really, really complex to capture. And I wanna talk about three things here. One is the dynamic range. Now this is in the bright sun and normally these aspects that you see, the shadows get to get crushed out because it's hard to capture. All these bright colorful roofs are reflecting light. And also that's the other part of it. You can see the color accuracy that's coming in between the roofs. Even the overlap that's coming in between the orange and the red right up top. So this makes for a great overall image. But if you guys are wondering, what about the details? Let me show you the full photograph here. That is the magic of 200 MP. But I also know our Xiaomi fans like night more than day, so I'll show you a low light sample as well. Now this is hard. Same three things, if you like to look at, look at the color accuracy and the dynamic range. Now this is a twilight shot, so it's really hard to do because either you would capture the sky or the building, but here not only has that happened, but you can see inside that building and the details that are there. And of course, the overall details and the clarity continue to be high. Now, we did share some other images that we had taken, and uh, a few of you guys came back saying, can you show us what this phone can do in India? How has it been optimized for Indian conditions? So I thought, I don't think there's anyone else who's better to talk about this than my friend, and of course, uh, industry expert when it comes to smartphone photography. So I'd like to call upon Sandeep on stage. Thank you. I think we have been creating some of the best camera phones, especially the past couple of years. But what you're about to see today is the next level. And I'd like to start by talking about a low light image this is captured in Mumbai. This is captured at CST. And this is an image that I believe is something you will get only on a high-end mirrorless camera or a DSLR, considering 
a few key points. Number one, it's a very clean looking image. There's no noise whatsoever. However, there are a few finer details that you should look at, including the domes here. Both these domes are actually captured with a differentiated color palette. And the reason for this is that with 200 million pixels, we're able to discern even minute differences between various colors, even in very complex lighting situations such as this. However, if you look a step further, you'll notice these pillars which are in the foreground. This is very, very complex to capture because as Anuj mentioned earlier, black crush of shadows is a genuine issue that plagues most smartphones in this particular case, despite the pillars in the foreground being in the shadows, we're getting crazy amount of detail, and even that texturing is something that you can actually see here. Now, I love this image also because it's very clean looking, no noise whatsoever. However, if you look at the two areas here, you see the water has a specific texture, it's a cool temperature, you have warm lighting here with the yellow temperature, and both of these are in close proximity to one another, right? And when that happens, you usually have some color bleeding happening. However, in this particular instance, there is no color bleeding because we are capturing so much information and so much amount of light. Now, why does it capture so much more light? Because there's pixel binning. Now, we've talked about 4 is to 1 pixel binning when we introduced the 48 megapixel camera. In the case of 200 megapixel, we're able to combine 16 pixels into one to capture that much more information by creating a super pixel that's 2.24 micron in size. It's a massive pixel that gets created, and that's the result that you're seeing on screen here. So I've been testing this for the past four months. That also shows you just how much amount of queuing we have been doing for this. And in fact, I think Anuj likes to make fun of me saying I was working from Goa <laughs> when I actually captured this image, but I was having FOMO. So I thought, let me add a similar sort of image which showcases tremendous amount of detail. Especially on this Jeep, if you look at Lifesavers there, the text is so beautifully rendered. If you look at the grills as well on the Jeep, it's perfect as well. However, I also have a body trick up my sleeve but because this is not the actual image, this is a zoomed in version. <laughs> not done yet, I'll zoom out even further. Still not done, because this is the actual image that is captured on the red image. Thank you. Incredible amount of detail. 20 times magnification is what we did for that first shot. And despite it being on a huge screen that you see here, the attention to detail, the overall information that you get from this smartphone is truly mind boggling. And there is no other smartphone, not just in this segment, but in terms of the overall market that you get such incredible detailing. Thank you, thank you. Now, we spoke about details afar, right? But what about details up close? All of us take portraits, especially now, I think, since we have been spending time indoors, more time with family and friends, we've been taking more portraits. So this, I would say, is an ultimate portrait smartphone. Not just because it has great amount of detail, but if you look at the portion there near the model's head, the tiny bits of hair is also not being blurred accidentally. And you have a very, very shallow depth of field and beautiful creamy bokeh that you would get only from a very, very large mirrorless sensor camera. So this is absolutely incredible. And I'm sure all of you will experience it very, very soon. In, in fact, we were so surprised and obviously amazed by the portraiture that we decided to tie up with humans of Bombay to do this particular shoot. Uh, let me, let's take a look at that video. You see some of those results here, but now I think for the part that I know the Xiaomi fans have been waiting for when it comes to camera, tell us how good is it really? 
how much ahead of competition when we are talking about is it? So this is my favorite section. And instead of saying Xiaomi 12, uh, Redmi 12 Pro Plus versus competition, we decided to call it 12 Pro Plus versus everyone. Now, I think what we generally try to compare first is smartphones in the same segment. So we have a shot here, and we're starting with low light, by the way. We have a shot that's captured in a busy, crowded street in low light. One thing that you'll notice here is that the Nord 2T, which is considered to be a good smartphone, decent smartphone, actually, in terms of overall camera capability, it does not have OIS, right? So in this scenario, what is happening is the details are actually having a bit of a shake. The sky has plenty of noise there, and overall color accuracy is not very great. However, if you add OIS to the mix, right, you have a V25 Pro, it does things a bit better. The shake has been eliminated to a large extent, but the problem of having a noisy sky is still there, and the color is also not all that great. What if you have Super OIS? Super OIS that we have on the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G, and this is what you get. My favorite portion here is the sky, which is having perfect blacks. So no longer is it trying to boost the blacks artificially, giving you so much noise and a very dull looking image, but in fact, it's very, very neat, noise free, better colors, and no shakes at all, thanks to super OIS that we have. Now that's to be expected, frankly, right? Time and again, the Note Pro has stood for amazing cameras. So when we are comparing it with other mid-segment phones, it is obviously going to be better. But there's one particular mid-segment phone that I'm sure you guys are thinking about. Can it really beat that? So, Sandeep? Yeah, I think Anuj makes my life just a bit harder each and every time I come back with these results. But we decided to compare it with the Pixel 6a. Now, this is a very challenging situation. Light is dropping very fast. However, if you look at this, it's actually a good image. I would really say that the Pixel 6 a has done a good job. But you'll notice a few things, including banding on the sky. You'll notice that the dynamic range is not all that great. Could have been better. And in terms of detail, which we shall get to very soon, it could have also done better. So how did we do here, right? Let's take a look. This is what we get on the red moon. So just look at the color difference here. You have a weird sort of color cast on the pixel image. However, on the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G, you're getting better color because you have 200 million pixels capturing color information that makes it so much more vivid, so much more better, and there's no banding at all. Now, look at this portion, and I'm gonna zoom in now to show you guys. You'll see that this is slightly out of focus, right? It's lacking detail. But if you look at the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G, this is what we're getting. Right? You can even see the birds that are flying because the shutter is fast, and it can do a fast shutter because there's tremendous amount of light being captured at any given instance. So that's the mid-segment. Okay, so we've established it's better than other mid-segment phones. but. What happens if you put, say, or take another 200 megapixel camera phone that is priced in the flagship segment? Can it really compete with that? Maybe let's take a look at that. So this is the S30 Ultra, 200 megapixel sensor, right? Should be capable. But I have a few observations here. Overall, it is looking washed out, lacking contrast, and the dynamic range is also poor. This is what happens when you slap on a sensor without actually optimizing it. We have been optimizing this for four months, actually maybe close to five months, and the results that we get compared to an S30 Ultra, which also has a 200 megapixel sensor, is this. So I think we're done with the mid-segment. We've gone up and said, okay, if others claim to have a similar resolution, 
can we do better? But now I think this is the trickiest one. <laughs> so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. We are going to do a live blind test here. Okay? And, and hear me out. We are going to compare this with a phone that costs 1.3 lakhs. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, ah okay. Exactly. So let's see if that extra one lakh actually gets you something. So it's a blind test and I'm going to shuffle the slides. Okay. What do you think, Sandeep? So, oh, hold on, hold on. Just a few observations, right? To perhaps make your decision a bit easier. If you look at the image and forgive me, but I'm going a bit closer, right? Can you see that there's a tree here or do you just see something black? Because here, you can actually see the tree. You can see that the shadows actually have some sort of information there. It's not completely crushed out and does not blend in with the background. Now look at the highlights. If you look at the central bank image here, there is something happening with the logo in the center, especially because there's a bloom effect. Now both these photos, of course, have very low amount of noise, which is great. But I personally, I am leaning towards A, especially because I noticed there's no lens flare happening in these light sources, the artificial lighting sources. All right, that's, that's a little too much. Anyways, let's do a quite live poll here. How many people for A? Yeah. Mm. And how many people for B? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, I, I personally think it's a lot more closer. There's obviously great color on both. Uh, especially the, the middle section is captured really well on both and obviously it comes down to preferences. But let me reveal this before telling you which one did you pick and why. I don't think I've been so scared doing a live demo till date. <laughs> Anyways, good. But I'll tell you why you guys picked the Note 12 Pro Plus over a phone that costs a lakh more. And that comes down to one key aspect. It's the lens flare that ruins a particular image. And this has been a problem on all smartphones across all price bands as we just saw. So how did the 12 Pro Plus fix this? The answer is a very complex chemical process, also very expensive, called ALD. It's an atomic layer deposition, a layer that is coating our lenses to reduce that amount of lens flare that you see with all other smartphones. Let's take a look at more examples here. So like Anuj mentioned, there are lines pointed at your sensor and lens throws off the overall metering of the image. And what you also get is if you look at this upper right portion here, the highlights are completely blown out. It looks like someone took the sky as a selection and just deleted that entire layer. However, if you look at this bottom portion here also, you'll see a lot of flare happening here, right? This distracts the viewer from the image. And overall, I would say this is not great. Thanks to ALD, atomic layer deposition, what we are getting is an incredible result. And this is what we are getting. All right. So you've seen all of that. Maybe I'll just take a quick pause and look, let you take in the entire summary of this amazing camera. Now while we were doing this and while we said that this is going to be a Note 12 Pro Plus versus everyone, we were deciding or we were thinking we'll stop with phones but we decided to go a little further. <laughs> Think bigger. So these are two images. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. These are captured in the exact same lighting condition, exact same time. And what you'll notice is excellent color on both, great detailing and overall bang on exposure, right? Now, 
what if I told you that one of these images was actually captured on the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G, and the other image was captured by something that people consider to be the holy grail of photography, a medium format camera, which costs seven lakh rupees. Can you tell which one is which? Because I think it's quite close. And this is the result, right? All right. I still think uh, the medium format camera is slightly better. We still have work to do, and we'll keep that uh, up for next. Anyways, thank you, Sandeep. Thank you. Let me move on to the next part here. And this comes down to, of course, the day-to-day -day experience that you will have with the 12 Pro Plus. And talking about experience, I think one thing that's changed forever after COVID, I'll take my personal example. Before COVID, I used to charge my phone overnight. Because I was at home for almost one and a half, two years, I lost that habit. I, used, I started charging on demand. Whenever I needed to charge, whenever my battery was running low, I would plug that in. Because I was at home, it didn't really matter. But now that we are traveling, that we are all here, that we are going to offices, a lot of times we all wake up realizing that we don't have enough time to charge. And taking that into consideration, on the 12 Pro Plus, we are also enhancing the charging experience. And from a charging experience perspective, we've decided to bring in the Xiaomi's proprietary flagship technology for the first time on the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus, and that is the 120 watt hypercharge. Now, with fast charging, there's always one problem. With fast charging, you normally can't put a large battery, but we decided to change that as well. And this comes with a massive 4980 mAh. And the best part, it charges in just 19 minutes. 19 minutes. It's a, it takes days to drain, but just minutes to charge. And why have we been able to do this? The magic actually lies again in what our R&D team came up with. It comes with a dedicated Xiaomi Surge P1 chip. It is the one that's enabling this entire circuit to be compressed into that part. The concern that normally comes when you put this high charging with this large a battery is safety. We've taken care of that as well. And not just on one point. The battery has a ton of safety measures. So does the charging circuit and the charger. The only request I would have is, when you're trying out the 12 Pro Plus, use the official charger that comes in the box. Now, you've also seen other competition talking about a 120, 150. Of course, they can't put in the large battery because of the Surge P1 chip. But the Surge P1 chip also enables us to charge faster. If you can see here, from a charging time perspective and the charging speed, even with the 120, or actually, even with the 150 watt, while the time for these two flagship phones is almost similar, but the average fill rate is the highest that comes in the entire industry on the 12 Pro Plus. So, in a nutshell, the fastest charging that you can get with a large battery 100% in just 19 minutes. You've got a Surge P1 chip, which was only for our flagships till now. You've got industry-leading safety measures and up to 80% battery, even after 800 cycles. So this can, be, this can go on for years before your battery health even gets to 80%. So it's protected, it is long-lasting. But there's something in that last box, and this is something that you know, we were thinking for a long time. Should we or should we not put that charger in the box? Now, while I just did mention this, uh, you know, when we were looking at that aspect, uh, do you guys know Gotham? So Gotham's been a Xiaomi fan for, what, eight years now. So Gotham had this comparison, this example that he said. He said, selling a phone without its charger is selling a car without its tires. <laughs> so obviously, it comes with a 200... <laughs> So, 
Now this 120 watt charger is normally worth about 3000 rupees but we are putting this in the box because we want you guys to have that complete experience. And moving on from an experience perspective, let's talk about performance. Now, as I said earlier, Note 3 started off this entire trend, but from there, every year we've been bumping up the overall performance. Some years had a bigger leap, others not so much, because overall from a smartphone performance perspective, it has kind of stabilized. I think almost every smartphone, once you get to about a 300, 400 and to rank and to score, is quite stable. But we decided to kind of go a lot further. So introducing the largest leap that we've had in terms of performance till date. Now this is happening because of our friends over at MediaTek making it the most powerful Redmi Note ever with the Dimensity 1080. But it's not all. Because this is a powerful chip, we decided to push it even further. So it comes with a large vapor chamber cooling system as well, up to 3000 mm. So it dissipates your heat. And giving you a longer sustained peak performance. But we want to do even more. So for the first time ever on a Redmi Note, we're also introducing 12 GB of RAM. One of the main reasons why we chose the MediaTek 1080 is because it comes with a magic ISP. This is perhaps the only chip that we work together that can support 200 megapixel cameras. And that's the result that you saw earlier when Sandeep was showing you all those samples. It's an incredible ISP, it's an incredible chip, and of course, it is an incredibly performing overall phone. Now moving on to the last part, our window into the smartphone world, and that is a display. And for years, we've, start, we've used the Super AMOLED on the Redmi Note, but this time we wanted more. Where do we go? For the first time ever, we're getting a Pro AMOLED display on the Note. We have a lot to share. Uh, so it's a Pro AMOLED display. What makes it Pro? We're going to talk about it in a little later. Uh, it's a large display that can support more than a billion colors. HDR10+, plus, but I think the fact that you would love is it supports Dolby Vision. And not, Dol not just Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos on those amazing stereo speakers is going to blow you away. Now, that's the display part of it. We'll come to the Pro display a little later. Let's move on to design. For design, it's hard to show from here, so we're going to play a quick video. So it comes in three incredible finishes. We've got the Arctic White. Now this gives you almost a ceramic-like finish with a metal camera deco. Again, one of the first in the segment. The other one is Iceberg Blue. And of course, I've always loved black, so Obsidian Black. Now I've always loved black over the years, but probably for the first time ever, I'm kind of conflicted, and I thought I'd try the blue. So I don't know which one you guys like. I don't know which ones you guys like, but of course, all three are incredible, gorgeous colors. But, <laughs> but it's not just the colors. We've also looked at the form and finish. One important aspect that's always been key to the Note series is the hand feel. So this comes with a 3D curved glass back. It fits in perfectly in your palm when you're holding this. But obviously, I spoke about the metal deco. 
from a protection perspective, quality perspective, you don't have to worry about it. It has IP53, it has Corning Gorilla Glass 5. And then there are these two other things. Now, we've been able to do something that even Elon has not been able to. I mean, it's cool. we've, we've been able to retain Jack. But not, that's not all. We, we know all of you guys love the IR Blaster, so that's back as well. So that's the 12 Pro Plus, the 200 megapixel Super Note. The India debut of the highest resolution camera sensor. It comes with 120 watt hypercharge. It has obviously a most powerful 1080, a biggest leap that we've had in terms of performance. A Pro AMOLED display that goes to 120 hertz, has HDR10+, plus, has Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and of course, the jack. <laughs> Overall, I think it's a noteworthy successor to our last year's fan favorite, which was the 11i Hypercharge. We've upped the performance. We've increased the battery thanks to the Surge P1 chip. We've also kept the same hypercharge. The cameras have gone up, but not just that. It's 200 MP with OIS. So that takes a step up. Of course, 5G support is across the board. And from a normal AMOLED display, we are moving to a pro AMOLED display. And from just Dolby Atmos, we're moving to Dolby Vision and Atmos in one single package. So let's take a quick look at the amazing product video that the team has worked on. I think the Pro Plus is the greatest Redmi Note that we've ever talked about, but there is more in the Pro. And to talk to you about the next Pro, I would want to call the next Pro in the house, and that's over to Rahul Dube. Wow, I love the energy here. Xiaomi fans, give it up for the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G. What an exceptional device. Thank you, Anish, for taking us through this absolute beast of a super note. I mean, 200 megapixel on a smartphone camera? That's absolutely insane. I'm a smartphone camera enthusiast myself, and I've been a photography enthusiast in general. But prior to this, I've never even tried a 200, even on a professional camera setup. And that just goes to show how much innovation we are bringing in with each and every phone that we put out there. I mean, we have been trying it for some time now, and it's an absolute recommendation from all of us. Now, while we try and pack in everything and anything with the Super Notes, while the 12 Pro Plus gets you the absolute best with regards to the Super Note series, that's not the only Super Note that we have in pack or in store. Well, that's for the enthusiast, for all us fans out there, we are introducing the Redmi Note 12 Pro 5G. Now, 
the Redmi Note 12 Pro 5G shares the same SuperNode DNA that you see with the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. And because it is a Pro, you can definitely expect the best experience and one of the most powerful Pros that you would have ever seen from us. Now, the Redmi Note Pro series has been our focus area and has been a fan favorite for various reasons. With this, we reimagine each and every aspect of a smartphone, be it an absolutely exceptional camera experience, be it a fantastic display experience, or be it a great fast charging and power experience to help you break through anything and everything that comes in your way. And because it's a Redmi Note Pro, we ensure that all of this is packed in an absolutely phenomenal looking form factor. Design has been one of the key focus areas for us with the Redmi Note series in general. And today, when I talk about the Redmi Note 12 Pro, I'll take you through three things. The design, camera, and the overall experience of the display itself. If we look at design, design is a make or break for any product, and it is one of the most difficult puzzle pieces to solve with any product in general. Each and every component that we add to your experience also adds to the weight and the thickness of the device. Now, how do you manage that and how do you give a device which people would love to use for longer hours is always a challenge. And when faced with this challenge, you see industry basically cutting down on, say, battery size to bring down the thickness or to bring down the weight itself, but not with the Redmi Note series. If you look back, even with our initial devices, we've always known that a great battery life is something that people expect and we have had packed 4,000 mAh of battery even with the Redmi Note 3 initially. And while we did this, the phone was as slim as 8.7 millimeter. Now, as we progressed, we realized that, you know, we need to bring down the slimness. We maintained the same battery size, which is 4,000 mAh, added a fast charging circuitry, making it 18 watt fast charging, and kept the same, and brought down the slimness a few notches to an 8.1 mm. And as we progressed, what we did with the Redmi Note 10 Pro was a 5,000 image battery, increasing the battery size while keeping the same slimness. So what do you think we're going to do next? Today, with the Redmi Note 12 Pro, we are bringing down the slimness of the device even further to only about 7.9 mm. which basically makes this the slimmest word ever. And one more thing that makes it look even more slimmer and sleeker is the presence of this one particular color, which is an onyx black. It's absolutely gorgeous, looks very pristine. You can check it out in the experience zone right after. And for someone who's looking for a bit more adventurous sort of a color, you have the glacier blue. The finish on this is exceptional. It has a frosted finish, and when you look at this all new look, you will definitely like the phone overall. So here's a quick video for the same. Now, isn't that gorgeous? So now, while we have a great form factor and we take inspiration from the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus from a look and design feel, and the camera also resembles to it in some extent, we take the same learning and increase and improvise on the camera experience further. With any camera experience, what you expect is an absolute top-notch experience, and that's what we promise with the Redmi Note 12 Pro as well. If you look back, in 2019, we had a device which was the Redmi Note 7 Pro, and it was a fan favorite until did one of the better cameras that we have had put out. But there was one partnership here which was key critical in elevating your camera experience with this particular device. Can you think of it? Or Okay, so it was a Sony Amex 586 sensor, which was a flagship sensor. And, you know, for various reasons, we have not been able to get it. But today, after four long years, we are bringing Sony back. With the Redmi Note 12 Pro, you get 
the flagship Sony IMX 766 sensor. Now, photography is absence of darkness and a lot of minimalists in the house would not agree and even I don't agree completely but in a sense that's what photography is which means the amount of light that you can capture that is the quantity of light and the quality of light that you can bring onto the sensor makes or breaks any image. Now in this regard and especially for smartphones the choice of the sensor becomes the absolute important critical piece for any smartphone camera experience. With this choice, what we do is we bring in a large 50 megapixel 766 sensor, which is more leaning towards the 200 MP rather than the previous 48 megapixel sensor that you have. Uh, increased size definitely gives you more capability to bring in more light. And with this improvement, we also improve on the computational photography to use this light in a much better and much clearer manner. With computational photography, we bring in pixel binning to give you a phenomenally good camera experience. Now, the presence of this experience, the presence of this sensor is something that you find in the flagships, and it has been time and again proven. You have the Xiaomi Mix Fold 2, which is the absolute top-notch flagship from us, and you also have the Xiaomi 12, which packs in the same 50 megapixel IMS 766 sensor as its primary. But there's a one more thing which basically makes this entire experience very complete. Can you guess? It is the presence of optical image stabilization on the Redmi Note devices. And this is for the very first time you are getting optical image stabilization with the Redmi Note 12 Pro. Now, what does it really mean? It means images like this that you see here. A very difficult lighting condition, the light source is in the background, the cabin is supposed to be darker, but even with that darkness, you get absolute distinction between different kind of greens in the cabin. The subject is in perfect focus, you have absolute clarity, you can see the space very clearly and not just clarity. You can also see the textures in the carpet, you can also see the texture in the seats, poles and so much more. It means images like this that you see, which is a complex framing situation when you have a subject in the foreground, but the camera understands that that's not your subject. It identifies the human in the background, focuses on that, gets you an absolute sharp looking image. And not just that, it also ensures the image is very high dynamic range and you get absolute clear blues in the sky as well. It is not just the daytime that the 766 and the OS uh, combination helps you get great images with. It is also the nighttime images which are fantastic. Look at this deep red and look at the level of noise in this particular image. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous what you can do with the Redmi Note 12 Pro 5G. HDR on this is exceptional. And you see this consistently happening not just with landscape but also with portraits. You see great skin tone mapping. Again, the light source is in the background, the subject is in the foreground. In a dark sort of environment, still you get color distinction, still you get absolute looking portraits. And even in again difficult situation where again the source is in the background, light source, you get very clear segmentation and great looking portrait every time with the Redmi Note 12 Pro. This in particular is the overall goodness of OIS, the team was out there shooting, they are moving with the subject and you still get the absolute clarity on the dress in the field and the subject is captured fantastically with this particular setup. Now while I have shown you so many things with the 766 and the Redmi Note 12 Pro, a question would be how does it fare against competition? So calling on stage our in-house industry expert Sandeep Sarma to take you through this very thing. enough examples from the 12 Pro Plus 5G, but even with the 12 Pro 5G, we are getting incredible looking images and I can't wait to show you what we have. The first benefit of the IMX 766 and incredible tuning that we have done is better color accuracy. If you look at this image captured on the F21 Pro, what you'll notice is overall a washed out looking image, especially in the highlights where you see there's no contrast and it's very desaturated. If you look at the image that we were able to capture, it is much more vivid, it's much better in terms of the overall contrast and if you actually zoom in further, you'll notice that there's plenty more detail as well. <laughs> now, 
Now, what if this lighting condition becomes a bit more difficult, right? What if you go a bit lower in terms of the overall light availability, right? So this is a shot taken on the Nord 2T. Um, this is artificial lower lighting condition. And at a glance, you don't see a huge difference. Thank you. I'll be honest, I would say it's still not that great a difference here. However, once you zoom in, you will see that the overall detail is much better on the Redmi Note 12 Pro 5G. Yeah. So this, this is because we have OIS and Super OIS which allows us to get <coughs> shake-free, highly detailed photos and this is quite evident when you look at it, you know, very close up. If you see, there's no detail there. Everything is lost. There's no texturing. There's plenty of detail here. And there's good texturing as well. But OIS is not just about photos, right? OIS is something that you need even for video and almost every single instance that you encounter. So here's a quick video that showcases how OIS works. Crazy difference in terms of the overall output once you add Super OIS and the amazing 766. Now, a very interesting feature that Rahul will talk more about is the film camera effect on the Redmi Note 12 Pro 5G. Yeah. So, while we get the basics right, and you've seen the comparisons as well, we absolutely kill it with the camera setup. Digital images have started looking so pristine and so clinical that someone like me generally prefers a more character or soul to that one particular image. Film photography lends a lot of cues in this area. With grain on purpose, you're able to add that character to any image. And this is exactly what we're getting for all you Xiaomi fans with the Redmi Note 12 Pro. You now have the ability to use the film frame to create images like this, which basically have much more character and much more feel to it. So, it, if you're someone like me who geeks out on film speed and so much more, this is an absolute must try for you with the Redmi Note 12 Pro. In summary, it's a fantastic camera setup. While the Pro Plus has its due share, but the Redmi Note 12 Pro is in a completely different league altogether. It is a 50 megapixel Sony AMX 766 making its return with optical image stabilization, a 8 megapixel camera with 119 degree field of view, film camera, pro mode, vlog mode, 4K video recording and so much more with the Redmi Note 12 Pro 5G. Moving on to experience. While cameras are great, and most of the professional cameras that you see out there need to have a fantastic looking display. You may ask why? If you're shooting out in a really daylight situation and you're, if you have like an LCD display of sorts on the back of a camera, the professional camera, I mean, you will not be able to see what you are missing. And thus the choice of a great display definitely complements the camera that you have on the phone as well. Now you see a plethora of options with regards to LCDs in the segment, but we really didn't want to do that. We wanted to give you the absolute best display experience with the Redmi Note 12 Pro 5G. This is taking learning from the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus and getting you the same 120 Hertz Pro AMOLED display on the Redmi Note 12 Pro. This means this is the most advanced display that we have ever put and what makes it the Pro. While Anuj touched upon this, let me take you through this in a much more detail. What makes it the Pro is the presence of 120 Hertz adaptive refresh rate. The ability for the display... The ability of the display to move between 120 Hertz, 90 Hertz, 60 and 30 intelligently 
to help you save on that battery power. It is the presence of 1.07 billion color with this display that makes it the Pro AMOLED display. What makes it the Pro AMOLED display is the presence of Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos with this. It also features dual stereo speakers, high-res audio for both wired and wireless connections. In summary, it's a 120Hz panel, 6.67-inch large display area, 16,000 levels of brightness variations, 1920p WN dimming, 3.5mm jack is also here on this device. And what you get is... And what you get is an absolute beast of a display with the Redmi Note 12 Pro. Now... Now, while we have a great camera setup, great looking design and a fantastic looking display, it all does not tie together well if we compromise on the performance. So, you know what we did? We basically take, took learning from the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus and got you the same MediaTek Dimensity 1080 5G with... with the Redmi 12, Note 12 Pro as well. What does this mean? This means you get a 6NM processor which has two absolute performance cores and six power efficiency cores, giving you 10 5G band support while you need a few, but you have all 10, and Hyper Engine 3.0 and so much more. In essence, this makes it the most powerful Redmi Note Pro ever. While processor definitely makes or breaks your experience, there are other config configurations which may act as a bottleneck, and we address all of that. We add a great cooling system, great memory classification so that you don't face any throttling or any sort of an effect with your device. One more thing to note is that this also comes with an 8GB variant, but we are adding virtual RAM, which means this can go up to 13GB. which in essence mean that even with this, you get absolute best performance throughout. Now, I'm sure that with this particular device, because it is so good, you're going to see more, you're going to click more, and you're going to use the device way more often. And you are about to lose out on charge at some particular point in time. But we are taking care of that. We get you 67 watt fast charging, which, which in essence mean that you will be able to charge your phone for a full day power within 15 minutes. And this is a 5,000 mAh battery. Even, even, while, even while keeping the slimness to 7.9 millimeter. But there's one more thing with regards to this particular device. There is a special edition for the fans, which is the Stardust Purple. And, you know, this is, while you've seen the other two colors, this is clearly my favorite addition to the Redmi Note series. That's the Stardust purple color, which is the third variant of the Redmi Note 12 Pro, and a fantastic looking device for everyone who's here. You can experience it in the experience zone right after this launch, and for everyone who's watching us through the live stream, you can go out to our Mi Homes, Mi Stores, and other retail outlets to experience this very color, and I'm sure you'll fall in love with it in the first sight. So that brings me to a close. There is so much to talk about, but in summary, the Redmi Note 12 Pro is a super wire, super note with the slimmest design ever. It gets you a 50 megapixel Sony MX766, gets you the same display as the Pro Plus, gets you the same processing 
computing power as the Pro Plus, gets you a 67 watt fast charging and a 5000 mAh battery, and so much more to experience. But that is just the two of the three Redmi Notes that we have today. And the third one as well shares the same Super Note DNA, but to talk more about it, let me call on stage the OG Mi fan for seven plus years, Gautam Batra. Give it up for Gautam Batra, everyone. <laughs> Xiaomi fans, are you having a good time? Do you like the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus? Do you like the Redmi Note 12 Pro? Well, a very warm welcome because clearly it's very cold outside to everyone who took out time to be present at the Super Note Super Launch. Now what Anuj and Rahul talked about were the two out of three fantastic Super Notes. The 200 MP Super Note, Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus, and the Super OS Super Note, the Redmi Note 12 Pro. But the classic Note has remained a super, uh, super choice and a go-to recommendation for all the fans for over eight years, starting with the Redmi Note 4G. Now, I too became a fan of the brand because of two products, the Mi 3 and the Redmi Note 4G. Remember that Mi.com page for Redmi Note 4G that had this constant banner of coming soon or out of stock? Yes. Yes. The one with the red wallpaper that said, always believe something wonderful is about to happen. Yes. Well, I could not get the phone in the first few sales, but I did manage to get a job here at Xiaomi. Thank you. And the first phone I got to work on was the Note 3. So all your queries about the Explorer program, when will it be back in stock, I was on the other side on social media replying to those queries. Now seven years later, I am on this stage representing the brand, and the first phone I get to talk about is a Redmi Note. As a fan, <laughs> as a fan, it's a really proud moment. So without further ado, let me present to you the Redmi Note 12 5G. Now Redmi Note has always been an enabler for people and an equalizer for society by reducing the gap between what you expect out of a mid-range and a flagship. Like Murli mentioned, the Redmi Note series has pushed the envelope for the digital India revolution by providing 4G to all. And we believe with the Redmi Note 12, we are going to start another revolution. As the classic Note goes, 5G for the very first time. Which means that all three phones that we are talking about today, the Redmi Note 12, the 12 Pro, and the 12 Pro Plus, are all 5G enabled. And it And it's not just 5G, it's India-ready 5G. So no matter which city or state you're in, as soon as your network provider rolls out 5G, you get 5G connection on your Redmi Note 12 series. <laughs> now, Xiaomi fans, as tech enthusiasts, want to get the best and the latest in technology. And a lot of you would have experienced 5G. I'm sure Swadesh, on his Xiaomi 12 Pro, is experiencing 5G right now. But for, for those who have not experienced it, it's a total game changer. What you get is much, much faster download speeds, ultra low latency for real-time video conferencing and audio conferencing and online gaming, improved internet concurrency, and a much more stable connection overall. So we at Xiaomi wanted to try it out. So we did a speed test, and the results were phenomenal. On the Redmi Note 12 5G, we got speeds upwards of one Gbps. Now, one Gbps is something that you don't even expect out of a fixed broadband, and this is truly wireless. Uh, what we also did... Now, a 
lot of you would believe, a lot of you would believe that you know 5G speeds are a play of only two things: location and network provider. But while that is required, that's not all. We at Xiaomi, as a pioneer of providing 5G-enabled smartphones to everyone, understand how to optimize the modems, the software, to give you the best 5G speeds possible. And the video proved exactly that. We have two phones. One is a Redmi Note 12, a competing device, and Redmi Note 12 managed to get better speeds. Now, we have top-notch 5G performance on the Redmi Note 12 5G. We also wanted to focus on the overall performance. So we picked the latest from the house of Qualcomm, the Snapdragon 4 Gen 1. Now, Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 is a really powerful processor. It's an octa-core chipset based on a highly efficient 6NM process. Comes with Qualcomm's X51 5G modem, supports dual 5G right out of the box, comes with Spectra 3460T, triple ISP to get you best-in-class images, and Adreno 619 to give you, to basically cater for all your gaming needs. Now, we as Xiaomi fans like the raw numbers. So what do you think the Antutu score is going to be? It's actually 389,000 plus. Now, you would also want to know how much faster is it compared to the Note 11? What do you think, fans? Would it be like 20% faster, 30%? I'll just give you some context. Even in flagship chipsets, from one generation to another, you move by 15 or 20 percent. But with the Redmi Note 12, we are 56 percent faster than the classic Note. In fact, it's so much faster than the classic Note that we thought we might as well compare it with last generation Pro Plus, which is the Note 11 Pro Plus, and it's almost as powerful as the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus. So you get the Pro Plus performance on the classic Note. Now we have top-notch performance on the classic Note. What about the display? Now, with the Redmi Note 10 series, we introduced super vivid, per with perfect black, super AMOLED displays on the Redmi Note 10 series. But we wanted to take it further for the Redmi Note 12. To put it simply, it's bigger, it's brighter, and it's smoother. It's bigger at 6.67 inch full HD resolution to match with its pro siblings. It's also brighter at 1200 nits to take care of all your, whether you're outdoor or whether you're consuming content, 1200 nits, you get the best experience. And we also made it super smooth by adding a 120 hertz refresh rate. So whether you're gaming or just scrolling, it's just buttery smooth. And after all, I mean, after all, why should Pro have all the fun? So, to summarize, it's bigger, it's brighter, it's smoother, you know, it has 4.5 million to 1 contrast ratio for those perfect blacks, 100% DCI-P3 coverage, and it's protected by Corning Gorilla Glass. Now, here's something interesting. We were looking at all the competition devices, and we saw a pattern. While most of the competition devices are providing you 5G, they took a backseat on the display and are giving you an LCD experience. Now, with the introduction of 5G, you're going to consume a lot more content, you're game, going to game a lot, and LCD is not the best experience out there, and that's what makes the Redmi Note 12 5G a very unique super combination by giving you 
Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 5G along with 120 hertz, super smooth, super vivid, super AMOLED display. Now, we have top-notch performance, a super vivid display. What about the camera? Of course, Redmi Note, Redmi Note 12, yeah, Redmi Note is generally known for a well-rounded experience. And Redmi Note 12 is no different. It also packs a great camera. Now, you would ask me, what is a great camera? It's when you, know, you click a picture of your friends and family, they take a look at it, appreciate it, and they also want to share it on their social media handles. So we thought, let's do a unique experiment. And Sandeep, our in-house industry expert, uh, carried out this unique experiment. And to talk more about it, let me call him on stage. You have completed your daily steps goal for sure. Thank you, Gautam. I think we have been talking about optimization, right, on a software level. We've been optimizing for months and months. But is optimization just software? Is it not also hardware, right? So, because we not just make in India, but we make for India, and we make for Xiaomi fans, we are having a 48 megapixel AI triple camera setup on this. Now, this triple camera setup is one of a kind. India is the only region in the world that we are getting a triple camera setup on the classic note. So you have a 48 megapixel primary camera, incredible looking output as we shall talk about very soon, but you get an additional eight megapixel ultra wide angle camera. Only for India. No other region is getting this currently. We also have a macro camera, but we didn't stop there. We thought, you see this camera here, right, at the front. How about we upgrade this also? From 8 megapixel to 13 megapixels on the classic note. Now, I'll keep it very simple. Look at this particular image. The texturing that you see on the wall, the color separation, the overall dynamic range, and overall is such a beautiful and captivating image. And now on to what Gotham was hinting. We did this experiment going to different cities across India, uh, approaching strangers or people who would have heard of us but probably not used to smartphone photography and told them, we're gonna capture your photos using our super note, the Redmi Note 12 5G and we're gonna make sure that this is better than a dedicated camera, and we showed them the results and all of them were impressed. Here's a quick look at behind the scenes content. So this is taken straight out of the camera on the Redmi Note 12 5G. Now if I hide this watermark here, it looks like it's taken on a mirrorless camera, especially when you look at the overall subject separation, the shallow depth of field, and the beautiful color and skin tonality. Now we'll be doing more of these experiments. We'll be showcasing all of this on social media. We want all your support to propagate this message and show just how impressive of a camera setup the Redmi Note 12 5G brings to the table. Thank you, Gautam. Thank you, Sandeep. <laughs> Truly great images shot on the Redmi Note 12 5G thanks to the 48 MP AI triple camera. Now, with all the great features, with all your 5G performance, your 4 Gen 1 performance, a great display and a great camera, you're going to be using it a lot more. And to deliver just that, it needs a great battery backup. So the Redmi Note 12 5G comes with a 5,000 mAh, <laughs> comes with a 5,000 mAh battery and 33 watt fast charging. Now, 
in the flow of things, you might feel, uh, you know, 33 watts seems a bit small. Of course, we saw the 120 watt on the Pro Plus and the 67 watt on the Pro. But there are still flagships out there that don't even support 30 watt of fast charging. And honestly, I don't even need to talk about flagships. They don't even, even come with a charger inside the box. <laughs> but the Redmi Note 12 does. And on a single charge, thanks to the MIUI optimization and the 5000 mAh battery capacity, you can get like eight days of music playback with headphones. And I say headphones because it comes with a 3.5mm headphone jack. You can even do 21.5 hours of YouTube playback at full HD and 34 hours of calling. Of course, it's a Redmi Note, you expect great things out of it, so it comes with a 3.5mm headphone jack, has IP53 rating, yeah. IR blaster, <laughs> side-mounted fingerprint sensor, and a hybrid ca SIM card slot that supports up to one terabyte. Now, let's talk about design. Uh, do you like the design on the Note 12 Pro Plus? Yeah. On the 12 Pro? Yeah. What about the Stardust Purple? That was the key focus for our product design team. We wanted to create engineering marvels when it came to all the three phones and the classic Note is no different. We managed to pack everything along with a 5000 mAh battery in the slimmest Note ever at just 7.9 mAh. And to talk about colors, you get a classic matte black, a very magical mystique blue that slightly changes color. It slightly changes color if you move it around. You should check, out, check it out in the experience zone. And my personal favorite, the frosted green. I mean, not only because it looks fantastic, but also because this is unique to the classic Note. So to summarize, Redmi Note 12 5G brings in a super combination of Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 5G chipset, <laughs> along with a buttery smooth 120 hertz Super AMOLED, a 48 MP AI triple camera, 5000 mAh battery, 33 watt fast charging support, packed inside the slimmest note ever at just 7.9 mm, comes with a headphone jack, IP53 rating, and a hybrid SIM card slot. <laughs> Truly an amazing device. Now before I pass it on to Murli, Here's a quick look at all the things the Redmi Note 12 has to offer. We've all been talking about Xiaomi fans, but today I think I watched something magical. This room is filled with super fans. Thank you. It's going to be it's going to be close to 5 years for me with Xiaomi India and I've had my share of launches. Never ever have I seen this kind of energy in a room. Thank you. Guys, thank you. We are blessed. We are blessed with this love and affection. Thank you very much. <laughs> Moving on to the summary and availability, starting with the classic Note. The Redmi Note 12 5G, of course, as the name suggests, the classic Note is now 5G enabled. Thanks to the Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 processor and that beautiful 120 hertz Super AMOLED display. Benchmarking this with competition. Now this segment is a very, very tricky one. Uh, 
And, and that's because it, it involves a lot of trade-offs. And if you look at various models in the price segment, now either you have 5G or 4G. And if you have 5G, you have to start making a compromise on the display, right? Most of them are 5G with LCD. And even if you were to bunk together 5G and AMOLED, there is a low refresh rate of 60 hertz. And this is where the Redmi Note 12 5G, the 5G Super Note, truly trumps all of these models. Coming to the pricing. The Redmi Note 12 5G will start for the base level 4GB, 128GB variant with a special Xiaomi fan price of 15,499. Now let's see how all of this works out. The standard price of the 4GB 128GB is 17,999 and the 6GB 128GB at 19,999. But since we love everyone so much, there are offers. All ICICI bank credit and debit cards as well as EMI gets you an instant bank discount, an instant bank discount both in online and retail channels, a discount of 1,500 rupees, and it is instant, not a deferred cash back. You can choose this, you can choose this, or if you have an existing device that you'd want to exchange, then you get an additional bump up bonus on the exchange of 1,500 rupees. So it's either 1,500 rupees instant cash back or an instant bank discount or a 1,500 rupees exchange bonus over and above the standard exchange value. <laughs> but I mentioned a different price in the last slide. I said 15,499 and that's where we say thank you to all of our Xiaomi and Redmi fans and all Xiaomi and Redmi fans get an additional 1,000 rupees off when you exchange your device to buy the Redmi Note 12 5G, which brings the effective price of 4GB 128GB to only 15,499 and 6GB 128GB to 17,499. The sale for the device, Redmi Note 12 5G, starts on 11th of January 2023 at 12 noon on me.com, me home, amazon.in, and all of our retail partners. That was the first one. Moving on. The Redmi Note 12 Pro 5G. Super OIS, Super Note which takes pro photography to the next level, courtesy the Sony IMX 766 sensor, which also brings super optical image stabilization capabilities to the table, and to complete that entire package, as with so many other things, a 120 hertz pro AMOLED display with adaptive refresh rate. And when you put together this combination of this flagship level camera sensor, the IMX766, which gives it unbeatable camera performance. With this brilliant display, the 120 hertz Pro AMOLED display, honestly, the package is comprehensive. Uh, and we don't make any of the trade-offs on camera and display, which many of the others perhaps are forced to do, despite some of the high prices that you see on the slide here. Coming to the pricing, the Redmi Note 12 Pro actually comes in three variants. And the entry-level variant, 6GB, 128GB, starts with that special Xiaomi fan price of <laughs> rupees 20,999. Three variants, 6, 128, 8, 128, and 8, 256. At 24999, 2699, and 2799, the offer construct remains the same across all three models. 3,000 rupees instant bank discount. The, that was 1,500. 
3,000 rupee instant bank discount on credit, debit, and EMI transactions with ICICI Bank, applicable both in online as well as retail channels, or an exchange bonus over and above your standard exchange value of 3,000 rupees. You get to pick either of these two options. And of course, to bring that special magical price of 20,000 triple nine, an additional 1,000 rupees off as our thank you to all Xiaomi fans when you exchange your existing Xiaomi or Redmi device. <laughs> Sale starts on the 11th of Jan at 12 noon on me.com, at me homes, on Flipkart, and all of our retail partner outlets. Now to top up and bring this afternoon to a close, the jewel in the crown in the Redmi Note series, the Redmi Note 12, Note 12 Pro Plus 5G, where which is clearly for those who want the absolute best because we've added a plus on the Pro with the 200 megapixel super note. And this features the India debut of the 200 megapixel HPX sensor with super optical image stabilization capability and for the first time ever on a Redmi Note, a 120 watt hypercharge that gets you from zero to 100% in just 19 minutes. And that is the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G. And to benchmark this with, with competition, when you look at this combination of 200 megapixel camera sensor, a 120 watt hypercharge, and the 120 hertz Pro AMOLED display with adaptive refresh rate, it clearly stands out against competition. It's very, very difficult, especially when you consider that some of the competitors are priced as high as 40,000 rupees and above. To get to the pricing, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G comes in two variants. The base variant, 8GB, 256GB variant, starts at 25,000 as the special Xiaomi fan price. I'm still pinching myself how this even got possible. 25,999 for that beast of a device, the 200 megapixel super note, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G is mind blowing. But let's see how this price com comes about. Two variants, 8 GB, 256 GB with the base price at 29999 and 32999, 3,000 rupee instant bank discount from ICICI Bank or an exchange bonus of 3,000. And finally, as our thank you note, an additional rupees thousand off on exchange of existing Xiaomi or Redmi device, which brings the effective price to 25,999 for the 8 GB, 256 GB variant and 28,999 for the 12 GB, 256 GB variant. But for the first time ever, the Redmi note goes with the 12 GB variant. The first sale for all the three super notes start on the 11th of Jan at 12 noon. And the 200 megapixel super note would be available on me.com, me homes, Flipkart, and all of our retail outlets. And with that, the super launch of the super notes comes to an end. Our gratitude to each one of you for making it here. I've got my booster shot. Team Xiaomi has got a booster shot from this audience here. We are totally energized. Thank you so much. I hope you had as a wonderful time as we had. Of course, we have the experience zone. Go ahead, check the devices yourself, play with it. Thank you very much for making it here. Good luck and have a wonderful year ahead. Thank you.